Welcome back to Learning as we play Age of Wonders 4. And the last episode, we have been completely obliterated. All our armies are basically done. All our heroes were killed, which is not great. Uh, especially since they're all in crypts of someone else. We lost all our items, some of which were pretty damn good. And yeah, it's um, it hurts. I must say, it hurts. It's it's never nice if these things happen. Uh, so we now need to rebuild. We need to reconstitute, rebuild. The iron golems were doing pretty well, I thought. So uh, knights and that. The razorback weren't too great, honestly. The hunter spider I didn't properly use. They can be really good. Um, but I think some wargs maybe. I really don't know. At this point, I'm I'm a little bit lost. We are... I think we made some wrong choices early on. On how to build our army options. Ah, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. So you built that. You built the scout. The scout I wanted to have. Um, where do I want to have the scout, honestly? I don't, I don't really know. It doesn't matter anymore. Let's put him there. Ah, let's let him out to explore. I, I wanted to get them downstairs to help figure out when and where the enemy is going to come for us. But they kind of came and went and yeah. So we're going to need a whole new set of heroes, really. Um, so we're going to get a beast trainer, because why not? Just so we get a level 10 hero going. Again, we lost pretty much all our good stuff. Uh, it's never nice. It's never good. It happens. Uh, he has a pig. That's fine. So we'll just move this army. I don't know where we even move them. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave him here. Set him aside. And we'll set him as the governor for Valenfort. So this could now build animal units. What animal units do we get? Ooh, Plague Serpent, Storm Scale Serpent. These are pretty decent. Dire Penguins aren't great. I think they're cute, but they're not great. So I think we'll build more Iron Golems and Knights here as well. That's pretty much what we're going to do at the moment. Um, yeah, you... I don't know. What do we do with you? I think we sit you over here somewhere and just kind of watch for the enemy. Yeah, yeah, I know you took my people. Alrighty. Let's see what we can do. Oh, and there they plop out of the ground. Ready to attack once more. Uh... Cadaver's Cavalcade. Okay, someone is happy about... We get mana and population in Thunderwell or production in Thunderwell. Uh, I think we're going to go for the production in Thunderwell. So the defensive stuff is immediately built. That's great. Let's build some stone walls too. And start recruiting some troops. I mean, we already have some here, so that's not too bad. Uh, the scout, I think we can return slightly. Uh, so they don't have to stand right there, right next to the enemy. Our hero is still in the void for another turn, so we can't do any magics. So right now we just keep building our armies. Keep building stuff. Uh, recruit more heroes, which we can't afford at this very moment. Can't do anything here, can't do anything there. So we'll just see what they do now. And we'll wait for another opportunity to maybe try and take a bit of their army. Right now they're splitting up slightly. So maybe they're going to go for a siege there. And if I had two armies to challenge this, I would absolutely do it. But I don't think I do. Well, I actually might, honestly. That's not, that's not too good. And there comes our main army, our leader. So let's get these armies going here. And 
We'll just put this scout unit in there. Oh, our hurt hero. Yeah, he's going to stand there as well. That's fine. Because they have to siege to get to him. So we don't need to worry about him at this very moment. And we produced the crypts. Now, we could try and resurrect them if they were in our crypt. But they are not, so can't really resurrect them. But we could recruit another boy. Um, Wardbreaker... Loved magical caretaker. What does that mean? Magic unit. Already, we don't have good magic units, so it doesn't really help us. Shadow adapt. We don't need that. Brutal. Double more. Beast trainer. Another one of those. Do we take the ward breaker? Eh, uh, we'll, we'll take him. It's not super ideal, but also not shabby. And we'll add him to our main army there. So we got some more hero power. And we set him as the governor in this place. Just to get the slight bonuses that we can get. We do the phasing enchantment. So our support units are slightly cooler. <laughs> Uh, you have arrived here. That's fine. Negotiation succeeded. All dandy. So you see, we, we fairly quickly got an acceptable force back on the plate. Acceptable. Not good, not great, but acceptable. Let's get some Plague Serpent. I saw some... Uh, some options of causing damage that way. All right, let's see what he does. Does he lay siege? No, he runs away. Like the scared little child he is. Okay. But splitting his units like that allows us to pick off some. We need to be careful, though. We need to be able to move our troops in a way where they are close to one another. So in case he does turn around and still slap us around the head, uh, we have a chance of dealing with that. So we'll just destroy... Some of his units. Oh, no, this was a hidden unit. Oh, that came out much better than I would have expected. There was a hero in there, even. Um, so that's good. So that hero is lost to them. And now we can bring in this boy from this side and attack here. And that's just... That's just... Okay. If you haven't watched all of these... Very early on, I, I spoke about moving units and armies, and the AI sometimes did they just kind of split their troops. Right now they're splitting to make sure they're burning our stuff down. But here they let their leader sit around. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take the free win. I'm a little bit worried about attacking here. We're definitely not strong enough for that. But kind of immediately turn it around again. Sort of. Uh, because I think we took both his heroes. Um, we, we definitely have this guy as our prisoner now. Who we could execute to get his cool axe. And his cool shield. And his cool ring. And his cool everything. He has only cool stuff. Uh, so executing him eventually will be nice. Uh, we don't have the master in, in our crypt because... They don't die in, in such a sense. And we don't have the prison yet, so we can't execute him. Um, or convert him. But, yeah, that's... That wasn't too shabby as a turnaround. That wasn't too bad. Seed of Materium, do we want this? It's good for a magic victory, but... Honestly... I mean, let's build the golem mine up there on the forester. Uh, gives us definitely a lot more than the forester does at this moment. All right, okay, not not too bad. 
Actually, we're going to move you here. So you connect these armies up in, in times of battle if you're being attacked there. Seismic Shock, which we could have used before. Ooh, Salmon Phase Beast. There we go. That's a that's a good... That's a... that. Yep, yeah, we want that spell. Uh, we definitely want that spell because that's a very good unit to have. So that's a good one. We want that. Let's build some Golem Mine down here as well. Per adjacent quarry. So not right now. Nah, it's not. Nah, there's nah, there's no good spot there. Can we build something sensible? Lord's Manor. Ah, let's build the economy. It's cheapish. And let's keep building some troops down here. Maybe some lower level stuff, just so we got a cheap-ish, quick-ish army. Oh, we have a new Rally of the Lieges. There we go. See, I can do it if I just take my time and think about it for a moment. We're going to have some Furies. Oh, some Halberdiers, yes. And I think... A Winter Fairy to our main city, please. Thank you. Next turn, we can get some more stuff. Our ruler level up. Yes, very good. Leaden blows. Plus two physical ammo. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll want this. This is good. Yes, you have been captured. Indeed, you have been captured. Okay, she wants an alliance now. Very good. We'll take it. We'll take the alliance. Now it's two alliances against one another, basically. And we will try and mop up around here. And then we take care of this outpost with the with the teleporter. Ah, okay. They're pulling together. They can see the writing on the wall. Again, these are really, really strong armies. This is this is this is a big problem for us, these glade runners there. And we don't see everyone either. Keep that in mind. We don't see everyone until we stand right next to them. They're really, really strong armies. So we need to think about what we're doing. What are we doing? Could go and take that unit standing around there. How far can everyone move? Okay, we'll move, we'll move just here. And see what they do about it. Could be a bad idea. They don't see that army, so they will assume these are much weaker than they are. These will not arrive in time. But that's okay. Uh, can we summon something? Something interesting. We could give everyone Seeker arrows. Uh, which makes them just a little better. More range, more damage. So that's good. And your orders are to sit still. Alright, we're building. We're building. Let's build this. Build another iron golem. What do we build here? Uh, zero turns, huh? Let's build some low level stuff here. Just so we can throw my bodies at the at the problem. Please let me select the units. Thank you. That is sometimes a little bit annoying, honestly. Uh, you sit there too. We could send these to be a bit of an annoyance here. I think we might just we might just do that. A whispering stone has returned. 
Well, fine. Alright, let's see what they do. Alright, okay. Again, we don't know exactly what they got. But... But... Yeah. We have a scout. So we can just send the scout to sit right there. And give us an accurate reading of what's going on there. So that's 3,000 in terms of battle points. We don't have that. 1,000... Yeah, we have barely 2,300 or something. So we'll bring him back. And we'll just sit them here. And now we move our armies a little bit back. Because I don't want them ambushing us. So we'll just sit here until we have built up. Now make sure we don't have more scouts in our armies because they are fairly weak. Alright, let's send them onto that army and send them onto whatever. Doesn't really matter, just send them. There is our Rally of the Legis army, so we bring them too. And we'll buy some more Rally of the Legis units. Let's get... The Steel Shaper and the Brewer Ogre. I don't have reasons for doing that. <laughs> I just want to use it up. And that kind of made sense to me. So these guys are fine. You are just going to sit there as before. You are going to sit there. And they might be able to reach us. So let's, let's be a little bit more conservative. And we're also going to split this army here. Slightly. It's not super ideal. But we're slowly building up our army. In hopes of getting better there. Alright, opponents are moving. And we definitely want to see what's happening up here. Uh, we get gold. Gold is good. We get draft. Draft is also very nice. Stability or bannerman. Uh, I'd like the draft at the moment. Because we are in dire need of building stuff. And getting up to scratch here. So thanks for all that draft. That's lovely. And we'll move that unit once I am allowed to select it. Move it up here. Move them just straight into this army. There we go. Alright, so he's got a hero again. And I'm wanna I'm gonna wanna wait for him to kind of split up around again. So it feels safe to attack us. So we're going to move these armies slightly back, but keeping in mind that this army right now can't move all that far. So maybe we bring them back. Keep everyone sitting atop one another. Oh, yes, the serpent. Give that to our main hero. These guys can't move further. This guy can move further. So we'll link him into this army, I think. It's a fairly weak army. Yeah, yeah. You move there. And then later you come out up there somewhere. And you just stand there with the rest of them. Just so we got a little bit of a backup army. Out of sight. Out of the way. You guys all stand there. That's fine. We produced. We produced. We know all that. All right, their ruler has returned, and they broke their alliance with one another. No surprise, the dwarf has been absolutely unreliable in all his political dealings. I'm not too fussed about rebuilding stuff while they are still right next to me. But we definitely need to get rid of this outpost at some point. It's a bit of a problem for us. And we can't... Rightly attack them. These are really, really, really crazy strong armies. 
Ah, uh, big shame. So you guys go in there, and you guys go in there. But once we can, and we can now summon our phase beasts, we will slowly inch towards being a force to be reckoned with as well. Still want to exchange the level 1 units that we currently have against high level units. So I'm building mainly the knights because they're the strongest thing we have really. And they are fairly good at dealing with ranged if we can get them in position. And the iron golems to just basically be a wall between everything else. Uh, to give them the room that they need to do the thing that we want them to do. So our army will just keep standing there. We want new research. Uh, and I think... I think we're going to go for stone spirit summoning. Another level 3 unit right in the battle. Sometimes you have to click a bunch and only then it works. It's a bit weird. Um, yeah, you're all going to sit there. New Empire skill. Anything interesting? Spells cannot be cast at the first turn of combat. That's not too bad. A thousand mana instant. Siege projects might be interesting. Allegiance with three cities. Shock units. Pole arm units. 20% fast experience. Not too shabby. Um, 20 knowledge just immediately. I think we're actually going to go for this now. Uh, annexing a province gives us an animal. That fits that. Oh, great. A war party is being sent around. So we'll have to deal with that at some point. But now I only want to see what we do with this annoyance here at our border. And he keeps stacking up, obviously. But we're still in no position to attack this. With what we got. 900, 1000, 800, 900. That's nothing. Not compared to this. Still got some work to do. To get back up to scratch. Who has the level 1 boys? You have the level 1 boys. So let's get these out and back there. And of course you can't... What? Oh, these are more than... Two. Oh, whoops. I did not see that, honestly. Do we have anything else that we could easily get out of this army? Nope. So we're going to do this. And we're going to do that. Put that army there. And this thing will just be like a backup army that we carry around with us for when things break and we need to replace them. So you will simply stand there, all of you. Let's see. Production. Shipyard. 10 gold income. We definitely can use it and need it. Those stone walls wouldn't be too shabby either. An armory, more draft. Uh, we'll take the shipyard. It's the cheapest and quickest and has the most impact, honestly. Yes, another province. Right, I just got this thing where if we pick a province, we summon a beast that fits that province, basically. And we're going to build another forester. And we got a big, bad level 4 spider good stuff now they're not always going to be this big and this bad but this this is a hunter spider matriarch this is real good so let's see um another province annexation here we're gonna go for land because on water we get water stuff generally which isn't bad in any sense but it's also not exactly what we want oh cute little birdie pretty pointless but no one ever said that they're, going, that they're going to be all good. All right. Estate hall. Bathhouse. We'll build the Masonic Hall. And we keep... 
keep recruiting the big boys, basically. Basically, that's what we're doing. I know you want orders, but I got none for you. At least if he's standing there, we know exactly where he is. And he will eventually come. There is no doubt about that. He will eventually move out of there and attack us. So let's see. This big spider comes in and we replace what we replace instead. Well, not the support. I think the razor back can go out. So we put the big bad spider in this army. And this boy can simply join that army. And this bird is a spy. He will just sit there and spy for us. Or actually, now we're going to use him for, for exploring. Oh, great. The raiding party is north. Uh, all right. It doesn't matter if we have all our troops here. It really doesn't. So we're going to take our main army. Deal with them up there. And it's just hope they're not going to attack us. I don't think that they can reach. No, they cannot. You can click on them and you can see how far they can go. So they're not going to reach us in one turn. So that's okay. Oh, yes, you guys. My amazing raiding party. <laughs> you can stand there. Let's see what is next for you to be built. Where did you even build a shipyard? Where do you have a... C oh, oh, there. <laughs> actually, amazing. Okay, we actually do. That's cool. A Masonic Hall, a bathhouse. I think we need to go for more academy. We need more research. We need to make up for the past. Fishmonger. Artisan fortifications takes me too long, I think. Stone walls. Man. Chronogate would be good. Chronogate would be good. Don't know where, though. All of this is kind of terrible. Let's build a library. As I said, let's boost a little bit on our stuff there. Let's summon the phase beast and watch our mana income drop significantly because the mana creatures are just very expensive. Oh, and you get the Scholar's Guild because you can and we can afford them. It's not ideal, but there you are. All right, can we? Yeah, Magic Origin Unit upkeep minus 20%. We're going to get this now. That's a good thing. Let's go for this. Whenever any research skill is researched, the knowledge of another skill is reduced by 25%. That's going to help us boost a little bit. Um, don't need this. Don't need that. I don't know. None of these are really appealing to me. Let's get this here so we get 20 more gold because we have 22 vassals, so that's not bad. Oh, Scorheim. They are down over there. Over here. Somewhere, I think. I don't know. Okay. Independent 
independents are moving, meaning that dude. Can we even fight this army? Yes, barely. Alright, we lost a knight. That is acceptable on my end. Especially since we can pretty much more or less immediately replace them. Well, not exactly with the same thing, but we can replace them anyway. There's another knight we could use. Let's go, my boys. Oh, look, our ally is actually doing some stuff down here, it appears. I don't know if they're just standing there, but they're moving. Ah, you will just stand there. That is indeed what you're going to do. You will also just stand there. And we'll all just stand there, basically. Until I know what to do. <laughs> okay, summon a nymph. Not really helpful. Call of the wild. All friendly animals and calories get plus two. I mean, that's... That's okay. Uh... Summon spell on the world map. I don't know. We have a bunch of cavalry, so let's get that for the moment. Okay, what do we build? Fishmonger. Stone walls. I think we'll build these now. I've just put it off too long and I'm going to hate myself. If they attack us and just get in and we never did. So we'll do that. Okay. We are not going to recruit anything here at the moment. Because they don't really have anything sensible. New Empire skill is unlocked. So we could get new population. 50% less food. That's not a bad thing. And we captured her. So we could convert or execute. And you can see that they generally get the good stuff. Or, well, they get stuff at all. We, It's hard to find something as a regular person. Alright, we could execute him. Now, something to keep in mind is that imprisoned heroes in your prison count against their limit. So, having more than what's here is costlier for them. So, it might be sensible to keep them. More war parties are sent against this. Okay. Good stuff. Oh, that actually might be a war party. That might just be what that is. Okay. Well, we are sending a war party as well. And I think here we're going to leave it at that. We did turn it around slightly. We, we are no longer in a zero position. We have pretty quickly rebuilt. Though we are still not strong enough to take him head on. Our armies are just too weak, if if we're being honest here, uh, against what he brings to the table here. Uh, that's just... And again, we're not seeing everything, and these are already scary boys. I'm kind of hoping that our uh, green friend is taking care of our blue enemy, but I don't think that's actually happening. What we could try, and is we could just go and try and take dominance with one or two armies there. That's something we could try. Uh, so maybe... Maybe we take our scout here. And turn him in this direction. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you got any questions, leave me some comments. And I'll see you around next time. Until then, bye-bye.